Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. Let's do it. <music> Professor Marston and the Wonder Women is a drama biopic about Wonder Woman's creator, William Moulton Marston. The film is directed by Angela Robinson and stars Luke Evans, Rebecca Hall, Bella Heathcote, Connie Britton, and Oliver Platt. The story of psychologist William Moulton Marston, the polyamorous relationship between his wife and his mistress, the creation of his beloved comic book character Wonder Woman, and the controversy the comic generated. First off, let's talk about historical inaccuracy in biopics. I don't think I've ever seen a biopic that was 100% true to life. You know, they gotta dramatize these things to make them a little bit more interesting. That's fine. It's a movie. Now, Christy Marston, who I believe is the granddaughter of Luke Evans' character, recently tweeted out that this movie is not terribly accurate to real life and that the real life story is actually a lot more interesting. I don't know the real story, so just as a caveat, I'm gonna be reviewing this flick on its merits as a film. Nothing to do with historical accuracy. I don't care. Moving on. This is a great movie. William Marston is a psychology professor developing what he calls disc theory, a method of identifying predictable actions and personality traits in human behavior. Along with his wife, Elizabeth, he was an early adopter of women's rights, and his work really, really reflects that. Uh, he and his wife get into a polyamorous tryst with a student of his named Olive Byrne, which essentially gets him fired from the university and gets them shunned from society. Now, this movie is not about the creation of Wonder Woman. That's there, but it's not really about that. It's really about the relationship between these three people. However, we do see the genesis of the Wonder Woman character over the course of the film. Elizabeth, his wife, is tall, she's dark-haired, she's fiery, she's fierce, she's very strong, whereas Olive is very loving, very motherly, and she uh, often wears bracelets on both of her wrists, so we know where that goes. Marston even makes a point at one part of the film saying, the two of you together make the perfect woman. And eventually the three of them start getting into bondage. A lot of Marston's theory has to do with domination and submission and how that give and take can really lead to better relationships. And they take it to the next level, getting into bondage. And of course, bondage was very prevalent, particularly in the early Wonder Woman comics. It's also interesting that Marston and his wife invented and then along with Olive perfected the polygraph test, the lie detector test, which of course, Wonder Woman has the lasso of truth, which forces you to tell the truth. You see that connection there. And the, the polygraph actually does play a large part in the emotional arc of the film. Luke Evans is great in this movie. He's funny, he's very smart, he's very charismatic. My only problem with his performance was I could hear a little bit of his Welsh accent mixing into his American. It's a very small quibble. Rebecca Hall is so much fun in this flick. She's super sarcastic, super witty, very funny, but she knows when to turn it off and be serious when, when the script needs it. I found Bella Heathcote really distracting because she looks exactly like Heather Graham. I don't think we should hold that against her. I'm just joking, of course. Bella Heathcote was my favorite thing about this film. She is absolutely wonderful. She's strong, she's gutsy, but she's appropriately demure for her character when necessary. And she broke my heart a couple times in this movie. I will be watching for more things from Bella Heathcote in the future. There's some love scenes in this movie, and I made a point to say love scenes, not sex scenes. They are sexy, but they are not lurid in every way. And in every one of these scenes, you absolutely see the love that these three characters have for each other. It's not lusty, well, that's there, but the love these three characters have for each other comes through. And these three actors have amazing chemistry with each other throughout the entire film. The first scene where they all get together is shot handheld, you know, to put the viewer like right in the into the action, so to speak. I will also say this, if you do not tear up at the ending, there is something horribly, horribly wrong with you. Honestly, I loved this film. It's not too long, it's a little bit slow in the middle, but it's a really, really great film, and I gotta say, it really made me want to watch Wonder Woman again. And that's pretty high praise. Is it? I would have wanted to watch Wonder Woman again anyway. It's a great movie. But you get my point. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. And I think I'm gonna give Professor Marston and the Wonder Women a...
of 10. Now I wanna know, have you seen Professor Marston and the Wonder Women? Man, that's a mouthful. What did you think? Are you looking forward to seeing it? What did you think of Wonder Woman? Are you curious to see the true story behind it? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And why not take a second to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking the Court Shake logo at the bottom right of your screen. Thanks very much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care.